Some new drywall we hung yesterday, and in the corner we use paper tape, and in the flats we use fiber tape. And as you can see, it's got one coat on it, it was uh, bonded. So we're just about ready to start troweling, which is called a double coat. We're going to start doubling, and it's the first coat of trowel. And usually what I do is between each coat, just give it a light brush. And it's just to brush off the seam, just to take the burrs off, even the nails. You just once over the nails, just take, take, the, take the burrs off. Just a light sanding, very, very light. Now we're ready for a double coat. I normally use a 14 inch curved trowel, so it has a slight curve to it. And the theory is, as you're troweling on, when you get finished, it leaves a little bit higher in the center because uh, normal filler out of the box, when it dries, it will shrink a little bit. So if it's a little bit thicker in the center, it dries, it shrinks, you still got a uh, fairly level surface. Sometimes I use a 12 inch and it'll work, but for a professional job, I find the 14 inch curve does a real nice job for the doubling for the first coat trowel and then on the finish the 16 inch flat. Nice and wide band for the 12 inch. So here again I'll use a 14 inch curve. Get a good coat, nice coat on. And ream up one side. Ream up the other. And up to the center. Now for the finish coat, I use a 16 inch flat trowel, 16 inch flat, and your mud for on the finish coat is a little bit thinner. I always say when you bond and when you put your first coat trowel on, the mud should be like peanut butter. That's the consistency that works best. And when you're doing finish coat on the finish seams, the mud should be the consistency of mayonnaise, nice and creamy. And with the 16 inch, the idea now is to try and go a little bit wider on both sides. So with the 16, I kind of give it two, two rows. And then same as the first coat, ream it up the side. Ream it up the other side. And then kind of V it towards the center. And that's it. That seam is about 18, 20 inches wide. Be very little sanding.
Okay, so now for the nails. What I recommend is each time you do a coat, you just use a little bit larger knife. The first coat, we use a three inch knife. Second coat, use a four inch knife. Third coat, a five inch knife. And then the final coat, six inch knife. And the theory and the idea is, is don't make any bigger swat than you have to. So your first coat, just make a small swipe. Second coat, just slightly larger and try and cover the edges. I don't like the concept where you leave it thick over top of the nails and sand it off afterwards. No one likes to sand. It's very dirty and messy. And I've never seen a job that had to be sanded a lot that turned out well. You want nice thin coats. Scrape them off. So, for the third coat, use a five inch knife and you would go over, try and go over top of the other three coats, two coats, sorry. And then, don't leave much excess. Now on the final coat, with the six inch, what I like to do and try and do is, if the nails are fairly close together, then on the final coat, I will take them and I'll make one swipe over top of all of them, like this. So then you got the final coat over top of your nails, covers everything. Covers all three coats prior to the finish coat. One little secret, I always carry a water bottle with me. And every so once in a while when your filler starts to get cakey, you just moisten it up. Give it a little squirt of water and you keep on going. That way your mud stays nice and creamy and you don't get real thick hard edges.